Hi people! This video will be theory crafting, but it will still be on pretty firm grounds. The things I'm talking about are basically already well used by druids, it's just a matter of looking into it on priests. The thing that I'm talking about is using hearts as your primary heal. Normally, priests use flash heal, heal or greater heal, but basically never renew more than to put it on a tank. But in this video, I hope to show you why using Renew as your main heal seems to be a very solid choice. So, first of all, let's talk about the obvious reasons as for why this could be a bad idea. The first one is about losing world buffs. As you probably know, reaching 32 buffs means that the game will start pushing off buffs from you. And obviously, if you are in a more hardcore guild and people are close to 32 buffs, you shouldn't use Renew. However, most guilds don't gather buffs to that extent and you can use HOTS without much risk. Now, a while back early on in Classic, some things which should have been considered passive auras, such as enchants and similar things, were actually counted as helpful auras, meaning buffs. They were basically invisible buffs, so if a player reached what the game considered to be 32 buffs, it would push something off. It would look as if you only had 26 buffs or something, but that has been fixed for quite some time now. I'll have a link to a blue post below where Blizzard talks about that former issue. The second reason why it might not be clever to heal with HOTS is that they surely must produce insane overhealing. But that is actually not very true at all. Looking at some logs from Druids using Rejuvenation as their primary heal, we see that they sat at about 40% overhealing, taking all trash fights and boss fights into consideration. That's a number very similar to all the other healers in terms of overhealing. In this log, 43% is slightly above average, but it isn't 70% overhealing, which you might suspect. To a certain degree, it's a matter of knowing when to use HOTS. Sometimes it's just better with fast direct heals, but as you could see in these two logs, Rejuvenation did between 75-85% to of all healing done. This doesn't necessarily mean that you should use Renew in a majority of the fights, but in the fights with the most raid damage going out, Renew is the right spell to use. A great example would be the Trash Before Twins. If melees have to eat Thunderclap, Renew is the perfect heal to spam on the raid. The last reason why you might consider healing over time healing a bad idea has got to do with the sort of healing you're doing. Normally priests do direct healing, which means a lot of healing to a small amount of players. Hot healing rather does a smaller amount of healing to a large amount of players. Instead of healing one person for a thousand every three seconds, you heal ten people for a hundred every three seconds. Those aren't actually the numbers you'd produce in game, but it's just to give you an idea of the difference. If one person is taking heavy damage, Renew won't be of much help. But if a lot of people are taking damage, Renew is perfect. A great example of where healing over time healing is just the right thing is on the trash before twins, like I mentioned before. Spamming max rank Renew on melee as they have to eat the thunderclap can produce some really insane healing numbers. I managed to sustain more than 800 HPS on my Druid on that trash by using Rejuvenation on the melee boys. So let's say that Renew doesn't appear to be a super niche spell anymore, and it might have some actual use when it comes to general raid healing. But how good is it really? What kind of HPS could it do and how long until you'd go oom? Well, let's just step right into it. So, first of all, Renew is actually insanely mana efficient, and it can produce some very high potential HPS. Let's suppose that you have the best in slot gear for phase 5, and you're spamming flash heal. The best mana efficiency you could achieve is 6.3 healing per mana, that's spamming rank 1 flash heal. That will give you 523 HPS. Or you could go for max HPS and spam rank 7 flash heal, giving you 1071 HPS, but only 4.22 healing per mana. In these numbers I've taken basically optimal talents and crit into consideration. I've not included world buffs however. I know I could also have gotten 10% higher base heal, but I didn't get it for renew either so it kind of balances out. 
This is really just for comparison. But what could we have achieved with Renew instead? So, supposing again that we have Phase 5 Biscare, but for the Renew build, we could have reached 1071 HPS with rank 3 Renew, and this would have a mon efficiency of 17 instead of 4.22. Now, this assumes that we would spam Renew out on every single global cooldown to players in the raid. You could not do 1071 HPS to a single target. But like I said earlier, sometimes 20 people are taking damage at once. Now with a mana pool of 6000, we could sustain 1070 HPS for a minute using Renew or for less than 7 seconds using Flash Heal. Renew is an insanely mana efficient heal, but this is partly because of tier 2.5. Normally, you would never even consider using tier 2.5 for healing. It's a shadow set and basically all ways, except for the 5 piece set bonus. This bonus increases the duration of renew by 3 seconds, meaning 1 extra tick. This brings you up to 6 ticks per renew instead of 5, meaning a 20% increase in healing output. Even though you would lose 148 healing power using tier 2.5 instead of the full bis, the extra tick is simply so strong that it outweighs this loss by far. Depending on the rank, using full tier 2.5 is between 18.2 to 8.2% stronger than using full healing power best in slot gear, and this is both for the mana efficiency and for the healing per second. For rank 3 renew, the difference is 16.5% in both HPS and mana efficiency when using tier 2.5 instead of full healing power bis. This should tell you something about how strong an extra tick on a hot is. Renew already has the best scaling of any priest heal when it comes to healing power, giving you a total of 100% bonus healing divided over all the ticks, starting at rank 3. However, with tier 2.5, this bonus is increased to 120%, and because you have a 3 seconds longer duration, you can now keep Renew active on another 2 players. Without tier 2.5, the maximum number of Renews you can keep active is 10, and with tier 2.5 that number grows to 12. Meanwhile, Greater Heal can produce HPS similar to Renew, it falls very short when it comes to the mana efficiency. Moving on, we're gonna take a peek at the best in slot renew gear in phase 6 as well. So a quick comparison between maximizing healing power and using full tier 2.5 and 2 P's of tier 3 can be seen in these diagrams. As you can see, the least powerful gear is the healing power best in slot for phase 5, followed by healing power best in slot for phase 6. Next comes phase 5 plus tier 2.5, and finally, phase 6, tier 2.5, plus 2 piece tier 3. You'd want the 2 piece of tier 3 for the 12% reduced mana cost on renew. The off pieces are the same for healing power best in slot and tier 2.5. You know, the weapons and trinkets and stuff. Now, even though tier 2.5 makes renew substantially stronger, that doesn't mean renew is weak without it. And as you can see in these diagrams, it still performs really high. And as a fun fact, healing over time healing with Renew is actually stronger than healing over time healing with Rejuvenation, in both healing per second and mana efficiency. At the end of the day, you are of course free to use whatever healing style you want to, but you shouldn't just throw Renew away. It can be a very strong healing build, and if you're looking to do things differently, this might be the right build for you. If any one of you decides to try this out, I'd be very curious to see how it went. Perhaps you could let me know in the Renew channel on Discord or in a comment below. Anyway, that was all for this video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you want to, you could join the Discord server. That's the best place to reach me should you have any questions. You can also tune into the stream, looking forward to seeing you there. But this was all for now, I hope you found this interesting. I'll be back soon with another video and until then, see ya!